Hi, it's Steph. And as we head into the holiday season, I've put together a holiday gift buying guide for either yourself or the gardener in your life. I don't generally ask for a lot for Christmas, so it has always been difficult for family or my spouse to shop for me for the holidays. Well, over the last couple of years, George, my garden assistant, has done a really good job getting me some things that are garden related for Christmas. And I'm going to share with you those items that I've been really enjoying, as well as some new items that I am putting on my wish list for Santa this year. So here we are. I have created this category here, which is Gardener Gift Guide. And we'll go through and we'll check out the items that I've put in this um, gift guide. And I'm going to share with you my experience with them and why I think they would make excellent gifts. Starting with the Rue apron. I have had this for a couple of years now. Um, George had got it had purchased this for me for my birthday and I find it very helpful out in the garden because there are lots of pockets. So I can store my phone in my pockets. I can also keep my my Felco pruners nearby, um, plant tags. It's also helpful for harvesting. So if you do any kind of vegetable gardening, there is a pocket right in front like a kangaroo, hence the name Roo. Super helpful. Um, so this would make a wonderful gift. The other thing that I use a ton Oh, and back to the root here, it comes in various colors. Um, I have a khaki color similar to this. This is actually the color that I have, the taupe gray. And just look at those beautiful peonies. We'll be seeing those in a few months, right? But it also comes in this pretty green, purple, and this one looks to be unavailable at the moment. There are also two styles, the full size, which is what I have, and then there's the waist one as well. Moving to the Gorilla Cart. I have had the Gorilla Cart here for a couple of years as well. Really helpful. I like this because it's one place for me to keep all of my gardening tools um, and supplies. So if I'm going to go out and do a gardening project, I throw my fertilizer, my soil, my hand tools, my gloves, everything in this cart and it keeps it in one central spot. This is really helpful because I have been known to just, you know, throw my tools here and there and everywhere. And then I cover it up with mulch and I can't find things. So I really enjoy my Gorilla Cart. It makes things a lot easier, um, especially when you have to dump things out. So say you have some soil or some debris in this cart, it dumps all the way out. Look at this picture here. So really easy to clean up. And now they've even improved the tires where they're flat free tires. So if you want a place to put all of your tools and, you know, lug it around the yard, this makes it really easy to have this wagon so that you can just uh, move things about. Um, it also holds a lot of weight. Over the last couple of seasons, we've been moving some cobblestones to edge some flower beds and it's worked wonderfully. Okay, kneeling pads. So there are two kneeling pads on my list here. And the first one is one that I use all the time. I reach for this Gorilla one constantly. It has a little handle. It's nice and thick. So in the past, I've had really thin kneeling pads and they've been kind of uncomfortable. So I find that this one is extra thick and really supportive. It is, let's see how thick it is. I want to say it's at least one and a half to two inches. Um, and it also comes in lots of different colors. I just have the black one but I find it really comfortable. So this would make a wonderful gift, great price point. This one here is, I have one as well. This kneeling pad has these folding side handles. These are wonderful for support to help you get back up from a kneeling position. So if you need a little bit extra help getting up, this is perfect. It serves as a seat, and it's helpful for getting yourself back up from kneeling. So I find that these um, are also very ergonomic and can be very helpful. Felcos, of course, they are my favorite pruners and they're, I think, a lot of gardeners' favorite pruners. They can be a little pricey, so it's a little bit more of an investment, but they certainly make a wonderful gift. Um, I've had mine for a couple of years and they're holding up really well. I have the Felco 2s, um, and I think that is the most common size. And moving along, when it comes to snips, now these are floral snips. I have these Corona floral snips, and they're wonderful. So in the summer, when I have my cut flowers, like my zinnias and my dahlias, these cut them beautifully. Also a really good tool for um, deadheading. 
So when you want to cut your spent blooms, another one that makes a really good stocking stuffer at a pretty low price point as well. This tool here is one of my favorite hand tools because it's, it's called a cultivator and it has this flat side and then it has the hoe. It's a two in one tool. It breaks up the soil beautifully. And I really enjoy using one of these when I'm planting. When you're digging a hole, um, it just cuts through the soil really nicely and gets everything broken up and loose. This one here is by Corona, just like the snips we looked at, and it is $12.98. And as far as shovels go, this is the one that I reach for the most. It is the Fiskars Flat Spade Shovel. Um, it has a D handle and it has two little spots to put your feet. Let me see if I can show you that. See there, the large stepping platform. This is a great shovel for edging and for removing sod. Because it's nice and flat, it lets you get really close under the soil, makes nice sharp cuts. Really great shovel. All right. Moving along here, oh, this is one that I also got for my birthday a couple of years ago along with the rue. I use this all the time. If you want a garden bag to collect all of your debris as you're going through and doing your fall or your spring cleanup, these are really helpful. And because they are so lightweight, they're nice and easy to dump out. They also fold pretty compact. Um, so they have these buttons on the side that you can fold them back up and hang them like you see here in the shed or in a garage. I mostly just keep mine thrown in the shed, popped up like this, but I reach for it all the time. Um, and like, I really like how lightweight it is. So this is also another really great and useful garden gift. And a hori hori. I can't tell you how much I use this tool and I don't know how I went so long without having one of these in my garden. Now there are um, many Hori Horis out there. Because I was new to using one, I just went with one that had decent reviews and that was a pretty affordable price point. But I think Hori Horis are invaluable in the garden. They cut through roots. So let's say you're digging something up and you reach some roots, right? They cut up roots beautifully. But the thing that I love the most about the Hori Hori is they are excellent for um, dividing perennials. They cut right through perennials like like a bread knife. Um, so really, really helpful. It has a serrated edge. It has a smooth edge um, that's also sharp. And it also has a measuring ruler on it up to six inches, as you can see here. So you can see I used mine recently to plant some bulbs. Um, you can use this to dig into the soil and then you can see how deep you are to plant your bulbs. Really helpful. So, and this one even comes with a sheath so that you can place it back in um, because it is sharp it'll be safer to keep it in its protective sheath. All right, gloves. Um, I am now a huge fan of using gloves. For years, I liked to garden without gloves, uh, but I ran into a couple of spiders, and so now I use them a little bit more often. And this I found to be a wonderful deal. I shared this over the summer, but I bought a pack of these, and you get six pairs, 12 gloves all together for $9.59 on this Black Friday deal. Um, they're awesome. And what I like about these is that they have a rubber palm so they don't wet your hands. So say the soil is a little bit moist or you happen to grab your watering can, they're more waterproof than some of the other gloves that I've tried. They're late, um, I don't, they're not latex, are they? No, they're nitrile, nitrile coated working gloves and they're really comfortable. I like them because they're thin so they're not super uncomfortable to work with. You can still move your hands pretty well. All right, and this is something that I'm putting on my wish list this year. This is a repotting mat, and why I want one of these is because anytime that I do any kind of repotting, I usually just open up, specifically in the winter when I'm indoors and I'm working with house plants, um, I will just open up a couple of sheets of newspaper, and it does make quite a mess. So when I came about some of these repotting mats, I thought that this was genius and this is going to be perfect. Um, in the summer, sometimes I just will do it on a tarp or outside on the lawn so you don't really see the dirt, but this is a great way to keep a mess contained for a gardener and it's a really good price. This would make another really good stocking stuffer. And some specialty gifts. So let's say you have someone new in your life or a new gardener in your life, someone who's 
just recently shown an interest in gardening but doesn't have a lot of experience um, I found this book that had really great reviews and it is called the complete gardener's guide the one-stop guide to plan sow, plant and grow your garden it's again at a really great price point and um, it's just really beautiful and it looks like it has a lot of useful and helpful information um, I was going through some of the reviews on here and they were all pretty good so I would say that this would make um, a great gift for a newer gardener and if you wanted to make say a gift basket what could you give with that book well here is another really great idea some really pretty hand tools these also have really good reviews there's a 10% off coupon so when you're shopping on Amazon you could just click this off and at checkout it'll give you 10% off um, but you see you get here the traditional hand trowel you get a hand fork and this looks like a weeder um, in the center there and something that I'm adding to another item that I'm adding to my wish list along with that potting mat um, there's about five or so items on here that I'm going to be asking um, for myself uh, for Christmas and this is another one so most times when I'm working with soil out in the garden I will use my hand trowel to grab soil out of my bag um, specifically when I'm doing my pots um, instead of just you know using the bag and spilling dirt everywhere I'll use my trowel but my trowel is not very deep so I came across this item here which is a garden loose soil scoop now this can be used for it has multi-function so you can use this for soil but you could also use this for things like bird seed has a really beautiful wooden handle with a leather um, hanging rope so if you wanted to hang this up for storage and it looks fairly deep in these photos you see here what different uses you can have it for you could even use it for things like rice and grains um, maybe some pet food but ice so I am really excited to add one of these to my list because I think that it will be really useful and it's also really pretty And something else that, I, so like I said, I had a few things on here that I was asking for for myself, is a three-in-one soil test kit. Now, I don't have one of these. Um, I've often been asked if my soil is alkaline or acidic, and I know that there are more official tests to do this, and at some point I'll get there, but I thought that this would be a really fun tool to add to my garden. Um, so far, I've just used my finger. When I need to find out if something is moist or not, I'll just you know put my finger in the soil. Um, but I feel like this would be a really good thing to add to my toolbox for gardening, and it is also at a reasonable price point has pretty decent reviews so I'm going to add this to my list this year and let's say that you have someone in your life who loves to grow tomatoes I know we all know at least one person who grows vegetables who prides themselves on growing beautiful and delicious tomatoes each year I came across this burpees best and there are different kits so this one here specifically is for burpee best 10 tomato collection they are non-GMO planting tomato seeds for um, garden gifts. And these are $25.67, but there are different collections. So there is the tomato that comes with um, 10 different tomatoes. There is also the best 10 pepper collection, an herb collection, as well as classic garden veggies, um, heirloom veggies, culinary classics, um, garden sown collection, the heirloom tomato collection as well as a salad garden collection so I thought that this was really cool um, and really pretty as well so each set is $25.67 but a unique gift for a gardener in your life and on that same theme here are some additional um, kits or sets for specialty gardening um, such as like a cocktail garden kit so let's say there's someone in your life who likes to um, create cocktails I actually have a friend who is a gardener who um, crafts really delicious and beautiful looking cocktails so this would make a wonderful gift for a person like that it says um, this one here grow six unique indoor garden plants for mixed drinks with seeds starter pots planting markers and peat discs so let's check this out um, look it even gives you recipe cards 
So you can make different drinks and it tells you which plants. Um, I see here they have agastache used as a garnish, borage. And um, so yeah, I thought that this was really pretty and very interesting. There's also another 5% off coupon. So make sure anytime you see this coupon thing, clip it so it can give you a discount at the checkout. And here is an herb kit. So on that same notion, specialty gifts for gardeners, if you want to grow some herbs in your kitchen window to get you through these winter months before we were able to get back out in spring, I thought this was also really beautiful. This one here has a $5 coupon. It's $39.99, so it'd be about $34.99. And it comes with basil, cilantro, mint, oregano, parsley, rosemary, and thyme. Also comes with these little soil discs. Um, and it tells you different information about the plants. See that? It even comes with plant markers and the little reusable pots and trays. And something I'm getting for my garden assistant this year. Don't tell him. Okay, it's a surprise. But he, um, as you know, we have, if you've been around the channel for a little while, we have a um, new um, garden space that we have a collection of Japanese maples growing in and he recently expressed a little bit of interest in learning how to graft and even in some bonsai so I thought that this would make a really great gift for my garden assistant um, I haven't decided which kit I'm going to get him yet but there are two of these bonsai tree seed starter kits and it even comes with not only does it come with a little soil disc and the different trees so this kit here let's see which what plants they give you with it it says plant your own bonsai kit choose from seeds from brazilian rosewood um, colorado blue spruce flame tree or black spruce experience the joy of watching your tree grow from the seedlings in your bonsai tree kit to a fully formed bonsai tree and it even comes with a little snips little bonsai snips see that so I thought this was a really cool and unique gift for him. And so I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna get this one or this other kit here. Um, they're both really pretty. They both have great reviews. So I will make a decision on that as well. And in that same vein, you can also get a grafting kit. So this is something, because we have all of these Japanese maples in our garden, he, um, you know, like I said, showed some interest in maybe trying to graft a couple of trees to see if he can come up with his own variety. And so when I saw this um, at a really reasonable price, I thought this would make a really great gift or stocking stuffer. Now, as adults and parents, we don't really buy a whole lot for each other. We mostly just shop for a couple of things just to say Merry Christmas and um, to share with each other so that the kids see mom and dad getting something small. But little things like this are fun and something that we, you know, can use and have a little bit of fun with. And recently, Linda Vowder um, has released a garden journal. Um, I have a friend who is a gardener who does keep a journal, and I thought this was a really beautiful idea um, so that you can see trends in your garden. So if you wanted to record what's happening at your, in your garden throughout the year um, in different parts of the year and kind of look back, this one gives you a five-year record of your home garden. And so she recent, this is a new release. She recently released this book, Linda, and I went to Amazon to check it out. And this is something that I'm also interested in adding to my own Christmas list this year. The uh, five-year garden journal by Linda Vodder. Plant tags. Now I have plant tags that are plastic and that I generally use for tagging things like my zinnias or my dahlias. But most of the varieties in my garden, I remember the, the names of them. And I have quite a few plants, so it's actually interesting because I can't remember what I ate for dinner last night, but if you ask me the name of any plant in my garden, for the most part, I can answer you without even thinking about it for too long. But I thought that it would be really great to have some really pretty um, decorative plant labels to put out in my garden, specifically in that new um, garden area where we have our multiple Japanese maples. So I started looking and I found these that look like they have um, a copper finish to them. It says 25 piece copper metal plant tags. And they are, let's see, waterproof, it says rainproof, pet 
film and permanent pen um, waterproof banner garden markers. So it comes with the marker and you would write on them. But I've also seen some where you can use like a nail to sort of engrave them. So I thought that I would add these to my list this year as well. They come in different finishes. So it looks like you can get it in the zinc metal, um, the copper, and there's this black metal one as well. So I think these also make a really wonderful gift or even stocking stuffer for a gardener in your life. There's this stainless steel one as well that has um, just a little bit different style, but they come in different colors as well. So it has the uh, copper, and this black one so these are also real pretty and you can just um, put them at the base of your plant and so if anyone is touring your garden or walking through um, they can see what you have growing and this is the bigger item that i put on my list for this year um, many of you have told me in my comments of, of different videos that they absolutely love this tool in their garden and I don't have one yet. It is a root slayer shovel. And so um, it has this pointed kind of end with a serrated edge. This one is a bit shorter. There is a longer one that I put on this gift guide as well. Um, I haven't decided which height I want to get. So if any of you have the root slayer, you can leave a comment below. Let me know um, if you have a preference with the shorter handle or the longer handle. I think that because I'm only 5'4", I feel like this 44 inch would work just fine for me, but I'm really excited to add this tool um, to my list this year and see how it does in my garden. I'm always looking for a good, new, useful tool. It also looks like it comes in an extra large size and the extra large has the longer handle. Hats, I wear baseball hats a lot to garden outside. Um, being from New England and we're about south, of, we're about an hour south of Boston, I love wearing my Red Sox hat when we're outside. Um, it has the Sitco sign and I get lots of compliments on that hat, but I couldn't find it on Amazon. But this one is also in similar where it has this vented mesh in the back. I feel like that helps keep my head cooler when I'm outside. So I like these breathable hats um, with the mesh in the back but i thought this one was really pretty in this sage green it says plant lady um, and it looks like it also had really good ratings a great gift for the for your plant loving friend wife loved it nice fit looks like picture uh, great gift for someone who loves to garden so and recently i did my dahlia storage video and when i did that i showed um on the video that i had a gauge that shows the temperature now, um, I thought that this would be something that I would just add here in case you're interested, but this is also really great. We have one in our living room as well to see what the weather is outside. So when the kids are leaving to school in the morning, they like to see what the weather is. It also tells you what the humidity is in your home. Um, I got my parents one of these for Christmas a couple of years ago. So if you are not familiar with these, they're really cool. Another just fun tchotchke type gift, a watering can that has some LED lights that are really pretty, especially now as we head into the darkest time of the year. Um, having something like this to look out into the yard would be really pretty. And as we get to the bottom of the list, there's just a few more things here. I found these really beautiful um, signs or garden art that you can put on a gate. Um, I thought this one was really sweet. It says, once upon a time, there was a girl who really loved gardening. That was me, the end. And that is true. And this is really sweet. I really love the photograph. Um, it's really pretty. There's this one as well. And into the garden I go to lose my mind and find my soul. Isn't that the truth? It's where I feel the most at peace out in my garden. Now, if you have, if you work in an office or somewhere where you do a Yankee swap, this I thought was so funny. And I even think this would make a great gift for George because he is forever losing his glasses, constantly looking for his glasses. I told him I'm gonna get one of those straps for his head for them. Um, but look at this, it is a small plant holder that you can draw on, but also you could put your glasses on. I thought this is so funny. Um, so I thought I'd throw it on here because recently I went to the Home Depot and they have the house plants. They have these small plants for like 568 or 598 that if you picked up one of those small house plants and you put it 
in one of these planters. This would make a really fun Yankee swap, white elephant gift for an office type party or for anyone that you know that has a desk and likes houseplants. So I thought this was a unique find. And recently I've gotten into a bit of plant propagation with my houseplants. And I found these little terrariums or plant propagation stations. And there were a couple of different ones that I found that I thought were really pretty. But let's say that you have some house plants and you wanted to give someone a couple of cuttings. You could actually give someone that either has a new plant collection or maybe moved into a new home. Something like this would make a really great housewarming gift. You can just cut some pieces of a plant stick it in these little globes or these little vases um, to start growing some roots and then they would have some new house plants to plant up in a few months this is especially fun over the winter when we don't have a whole lot going on that's when i tend to do my indoor gardening and start um, caring for my house plants so this one's really pretty it's like a wall hanger and the price points on these are really reasonable that would make great gifts and there's one more that i found um, no, I think it's just those two. So yeah, I think these are really nice for um, houseplant propagation. For my birthday this year, I ended up getting a fountain um, at a local nursery, but I found the fountain on Amazon. So if if you had seen that video, I had a couple people comment that they really liked the fountain. This is what it looks like. Now there are the measurements here that you can see. Um, it is about, let's see if we can click on this, make it a little bit bigger. It's 31 and a half inches in height and 15.7 inches in width. So I had this in my front flower bed all season. It looked really beautiful. I have this one, the burnt umber patina. So it's like a black, almost looks a little bit brown. Um, but there also is a verdigris, which comes in this green finish, which is also real pretty. So if you're looking for a new fountain for next spring, maybe you could add one to your Christmas list or your Valentine list. Or maybe you have a birthday coming up. And something that is really useful, I've lost a bunch of these, but they work really well. So talking about like plant markers and tags, this marker works really well. So when I go outside to tag my dahlias or my zinnias or even my vegetable garden, I love to use these garden markers. I find that the ink lasts a really long time and they don't wash off in the elements. So at this price, it makes a really great stocking stuffer. Well, that brings us to the end of the list and whether you are new to gardening or you have someone in your life that is new to gardening and you'd like to give them a gift or put some things on your own Christmas list, you can go ahead and share this link with someone or get the link to the specific product and it really helps people be able to shop for the perfect gift for you or the gardener in your life. So thank you so much for spending your time with me and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button and please consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos and we'll see you soon.